Hi there. Today we got a new preheater hot plate from Miniware called MHP50. This one is the big brother of MHP30. It got bigger aluminum alloy heating surface, color display, and we can also use this for soldering by connecting the SA80 soldering iron to it. Of course, we can use this for reflow soldering and desoldering. So in this video, I'm going to show you the complete details of this compact and powerful Miniware MHP50 hot plate. Let's get started with this video. So the MHP50 comes in this beautiful square sleek compact box. The packaging is perfect for me. Now let's open the box. It feels like I am opening an expensive smartphone. Inside the box we have the user manual first. Then we got the type C to type C power USB cable. And finally the MHP50 hot plate. You can see how beautiful it is. The design is perfect and the color combination is awesome. Great work from Miniware team. The build quality feels solid and the aluminum heating surface looks durable. It also surprisingly lightweight which makes it perfect for portable use. So the 50 by 50 mm aluminum alloy heating surface helps to evenly distribute the heat. It has two buttons to control the parameters of the hot plate. The MHP50 comes with a 160 by 80 pixel resolution color LCD which is clear and crispy. Above the display, there is also a RGB LED for indications. On the back side, we got the Type-C and DC2525 jack for power inputs. It supports 90 to 24 volt input up to 150 watt on DC jack and standard PD20 volt 100 watt on USB Type-C. On the bottom side, it has three rubber parts which will help to get more grip on surface. Now you can see the size comparison with the MHP30. As the name indicates, MHP30 is 30 by 30 mm and MHP50 is 50 by 50 mm. Also, you can see the MHP30 is taller than MHP50. We can separate the controller and heating plate just like the MHP30. Now you can see a fan is in the controller. This built-in high-speed cooling fan automatically detects the temperature of the controller and intelligently adjusts the fan speed and accelerates the heat dissipation. Here comes the surprising part. This controller can act as the controller of newly launched SA80 soldering iron. We can just plug the soldering iron just like this and we can use. I am making a separate video for this subject, so more details on there. Now let's power on the MHP50. I am using a 65 watt USB power supply. Now you can see the details on the LCD. We can navigate the menu by pressing the buttons. Long pressing the left button will allow us to enter the selected parameter. We can set temperature, shutdown time, tilt angle, reflow parameters, etc. The tilt angle is nothing but a very useful safety feature. If we tilt the hot plate above the set tilt angle, that is suppose the hot plate is fall down, then the hot plate will be panned about the heating process. In the reflow method, first it heats up the plate, then constantly keep the reflow temperature for a set time, then it will cool down. You can see the details on the crispy LCD, also the RGB LED color is changing according to the temperature rise. Now you can see some reflow and desoldering using the MHP50. It takes only 150 seconds to reach 300 degrees Celsius from room temperature. So overall, the Miniware MHP50 is a fantastic tool for electronic enthusiasts and professionals. It is reliable, easy to use and perfect for electronic hobbies like me. So if you are looking for a hot plate, then you can try this out. You can find the purchase link from the video description. So that's all about for today. If you found this review helpful, then support me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. If you have any doubt or suggestions, you can comment it. Thanks for watching. See you with another one. Bye bye.